Hello my friends and how y'all doing today? This is More Truth here and for today we're going to be checking out the Hololife English Justice debut covers. So just recently I reacted to their group original song called Above Below. That one was such a banger, it definitely blew me away, like no question. I wanted to react to that one first before I get to their respective covers. Each of them did drop a cover after they debuted, so I'm gonna be checking out Elizabeth Rose Blood Flames cover first, and then Gigi Murren's cover, and then Cecilia Immergreen's cover, and then we'll end it off with Raora Panthera's cover. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into it. Alright, so we're gonna first start off with Elizabeth Rose Blood Flames cover on the song Otona Blue. Yeah, I remember several months ago I did a reaction to an Otona Blue cover from Tawa featuring the second generation of Hololive ID. That one was a pretty dope cover though, I would say. Yeah, it's a pretty underrated cover, so go check that one out if you haven't already. But yeah, Elizabeth definitely blew me away with her vocals on the group original song above below it's like the way how she was hitting the high notes on the song she definitely sound like a goddess though like oh my gosh she has quite an insane vocal range for sure so i feel like she's gonna blow me away with this one too so here we go yeah it's been a hot minute since i checked out this song though hey yeah, I really like the art though, it's like so colorful. She got the lipstick on and everything. Ooh, the, the slightly lower vocals though, okay! Yeah, this is a pop right here, yeah, we just vibing right here. Yeah, it's like the way how she's like switching up her vocal range. Sheesh, I like her outfit too. And you still see the blue flame right there. <laughs> we see her different uh, facial expressions too. Hey! Woo! Yeah, the chorus is like so catchy. You can really feel the funk on this one. Oh, she's blushing. <laughs> Wait, I don't know if she has like a blue tongue right there. I don't know, man. She ain't like some blue chips or something. <laughs> hey. It's like Elizabeth's voice is just so powerful. It's unreal. I like her smile too. I'm telling you. The shifting in the vocal ranges is unreal. Yeah, we're just vibing right here. We're just vibing. Hey. <laughs> yeah, vocals by Elizabeth Rose Blood Flame. Yeah, Queen. Spit your truth right here. Yeah, we like the illustrations though. It's like, wow. It just really fits the, the, the you know, the vibe of the song. See the blue tongue? I guess it's just part of the art, you know? That's pretty cool. It's just like the shadow, I would say. Oh my god! Listen, like the back of vocals too from her. Sheesh! See, I'm telling you, like, she's never blown me away again. See that vocal control though! Oh my gosh! The way how she held the high notes though! Seriously! Oh my gosh! What do I even have to say about this one right here? Yeah, the queen definitely killed it right here. You know, shout out to the queen right here, Queen Elizabeth. Like, sheesh. Yeah, the queen drop. Let's go. Yeah, the roses are red, violets are blue. Wait, she's covering a tone of blue? <laughs> yeah, there's like a bit of memes about Elizabeth right here. 
Yeah, it's like, oh, yeah, she reincarnated. But yeah, this, this is such a bop right here, though. Yeah, Lizzie. Yeah, that's like a little nickname that we got for her going. Yeah, I really like the art on this one. It definitely fit the vibe of the song. And then she's Elizabeth, though. Like, we heard her sing with, like, the lower vocals. She was also singing with the higher vocals. The way how she held the high notes towards the end of the song, too. Absolutely unreal, though. Absolutely unreal. After hearing her sing on the group original song, I had a strong feeling she was going to blow me away with her Atona Blue cover. And she definitely did, though. Like, no question. It's such a bop, though. We got a bit of, like, the funky vibes going on in here. And yeah, I was just vibing, you know? I was just vibing. I, I really like Elizabeth's voice. It's like really solid voice for her singing, like for real. Yeah, the anticipation is definitely real to check out the rest of the covers because, wow, this is like a strong start right here. Yeah, this is the first cover that dropped from Hollow Life English Justice. So yeah, let's go ahead and go to the next one. For this next one right here, we have Gigi Murren's cover on the song Hito Mania. Yeah, I remember Gigi had a bit of a rap flow on the group original song Above Below. So, yeah, I'm not sure what to expect on this one. I haven't heard this song before. I just know that the music video is going to have an interesting art style and direction. So, yeah, let's go ahead and check out this one. Yeah, she has like the Gremlin energy for sure. Yeah, here we go. We right, got Gigi Murren. Oh, uh, we got a phone right here. Yeah, we have a plushy <laughs> GG Murren, like mini GG. And then we have another GG on the left. Yo, this is a bop right here. Yeah, this is like stop motion right here, right? This is pretty cool. I've never really seen like a music video like this though. Yeah, this is like definitely an interesting direction to do the music video. Hey, hey, here we go. Yeah, it's all like the different stop motions of, of Gigi right there. That's like pretty interesting. Oh, they moved the box away. <laughs> is that she just falling down on the floor? She's just dancing. <laughs> Yeah, this song's all over the place. This is interesting. Right, I'm seeing multiple GGs. What is happening here? <laughs> that GG's just spinning around. Alright, this is getting kind of scary right here. Oh, I'm getting pointed at. Okay. Oh, that scream. Oh, my ears. <laughs> Yeah, it's like you got her on your phone. She could be on everybody's phone, you know? Yeah, the Evie just goes crazy, though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she's just zooming in on your phone. What, oh, what, what is happening right here? Was that like how they made Gigi? Okay, this one was quite an interesting one. Hit to me, yeah, that's quite a crazy song right here. Like, especially with how like the music video is happening. There was a bit of scary moments in there as well, but I really like how they did the stop motion for Gigi on this one. And that was like pretty interesting. Like I rarely even see any music videos like that. So it's an interesting direction, you know what I'm saying? Wait, on 33 seconds, there's a F button? Wait, really? Did I miss that? Wait a minute. I need to, I need to see right here. Uh, hey, this is 33 seconds. Did I not did I not see it? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I must have, I must have missed it somehow. <laughs> yeah, GG no shoes is canon. Yeah, definitely canon right here. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, GG already came through with a 3D model. You know what I'm saying? Oh, okay, yeah, there's like a Vocaloid. I think, is this like a Vocaloid song? Yeah, that, that sounds about right. That's like the kind of vibe I got. But yeah, it's like a pretty interesting art style for the music video. It's pretty rare that we see stop motion being used on music videos. I feel like that's like a pretty creative way 
to go about doing a music video. So yeah, shout out to the folks who even worked on the well the the videos and and, and whatnot. Yeah, shout out to the team. But yeah. We had like Gigi on the phone, so I was like, yeah, she's all over the place. She's gonna invade everybody on the phone, you know, with her gremlin energy. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's a pretty interesting one. Like her voice was, yeah, it kind of fit like a bit like the crazy vibes. It's the same thing like with the song. So yeah, pretty interesting song choice for Gigi right here. So let's go ahead and go to the next one. For this next one right here, we have Cecilia Immergreen's cover on the song Forgotten Words. I feel like with this one, it's gonna have more of an emotional touch into it. I know Cecilia is a violinist, so... I feel like she's definitely gonna sing her heart out right here. So yeah, let's go ahead and check it out. We have Forgotten Words. Yeah, even the music video is very like beautiful right here. It's like so detailed. Yeah, this song is like really like taking me on an adventure, you know what I'm saying? Is this like the harp in the background? That's interesting. Yeah, we see Cecilia right here, okay. Yeah, I really like how the Japanese lyrics just like pop up like that. They just fade in. It's like a really nice touch. A shiny droplet of hope. Yeah, look at Cecilia. She's so pretty. Yeah, she's the short hair queen right here. I feel like I've ascended right here, you know? I feel like I've ascended. Cecilia is just taking me to heaven right now. Like the background is just so pretty though. And you can really see like the musical notes in the background too. It just fits her vibe so well. These stories will live on forever in memory. Boko, Cecilia, Immergreen. Yeah, you can, you can start hearing the violins right here. Yeah, this is an amazing sound choice for her. Like, you can really like imagine what's going on with the lyrics right here. You can really feel the imagery. Yeah, I just love how detailed the music video is. Like, I love the art and the illustration and everything. Even like her herself, even Cecilia. She just looks so pretty. Yeah, we're getting like a fairy tale vibe right here. Yeah, she's the automaton that's in the forest, you know? Oh, you see the violin right there. Yeah, her voice just sounds so elegant. Oh, she's even blinking as well. Wow. Oh, see, the violins are starting to come in too. Like, all the instruments, they're just coming in together in perfect harmony. Yeah, the artist is absolutely amazing and instrumental too. We kind of ended off like that, like the same scene from the beginning. I think this is like the harps playing. Like the way how it ends off like that. Oh, I ended off at the last second. That's crazy. 
But yeah, that was Cecilia Immergreen's cover on the song Forgotten Words. This is such a masterpiece of a music video, like seriously. Everything about not just the music video itself, but also the animations and even the illustrations. It's just so high quality. It's like such detailed, you know what I'm saying? And then of course the different instrumentations in the background. I heard the harp, I think I heard the violin as well. There were some other instruments as well. They just blended together and it really complements Cecilia's voice. It just sounds so elegant on this song right here. And you can really sense the imagery as you look through the lyrics. Yeah, this song definitely took me into some sort of adventure or fairy tale. It's like she's the automaton that's just stranded in the forest. I'm like, wow. Yeah, this was such a masterpiece right here. It really felt like it was telling a story. And yeah, I, I really like checking out songs or even covers that have like the storytelling aspect into it. It really just keeps you engaged, you know, from beginning to end. Yeah, why are the green women in Hollow so freaking powerful? That's so true though. Yeah, yeah, that's so true. Yeah, this the second comment right here is like, <laughs> yeah, I, that's probably like a, a reference to the debut, which I'll plan to check out in another video. But yeah, I saw her holding like a spear. I thought it was like a lance of some sort when I checked out the debut teaser. But yeah, it's a spear. Yeah, we saw the violin in the music video too. Okay, everyone just talking about the accident. Okay, this is probably something, uh, a debut thing. This is definitely like a Cecilia debut moment that I don't know about yet. I think I'll just stop reading the comments from there. I don't want to get too spoiled. <laughs> yeah, overall, yeah, Cecilia just sounded so beautiful. This is just a perfect song choice for her. Like, no question. So, yeah, let's go ahead and go to the last one. For this last one right here, we have Raora Panthera's cover on the song Ibano. Oh my gosh. She has some huge guts choosing this song right here as her first cover after she debuted. What in the world? Yeah, Hibana is such a banger song right here. I remember Amina Kanata covered this song before. Yeah, I reacted to that one like a long time ago. I believe there's some other Hollow Life members that have also covered the song. Yeah, it's a Vocaloid song, so... Yeah, Raora definitely sang really, really well on the group original song, Above Below. She hit like the high notes for a moment before we got to the first chorus, so... Yeah, I really like her singing too. Yeah, I'm ready to be blown away right here. This is definitely gonna be a great way to end off my reactions to uh, the debut cover, so... Here we go. Yeah, I really like this song too. Let's go. All right, here we go. Like, look at her. She's so gorgeous. I love her. Oh my gosh. Yeah, Aurora Panthera. She did the vocals and the illustration. Oh my gosh. Let's go! It's something about her voice, she just gives you the mommy energy. <laughs> I love it. Here we go! And then her eyes start glowing on the chorus. That's a really nice touch. Yeah, she has the god's eyes, and you can see her tears as well. You can really feel the emotion from her, like on her vocals. Yeah, I think this cover has like a lower pitch than the original. But wow, like she's just making it work though. She's killing it so far. Yeah, don't mess with Aurora. Oh my gosh. Wait a minute, wait, 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 hold on, hold on. Did she switch to the English lyrics to the song? Or, or is that actually part of the song? I don't remember. The English lyrics just caught me off guard for a second. Yeah, the song's such a banger though. She's killing it. 
Yeah, I just love like, the glowing blue eyes from her. Like, sheesh. Is it saying she did the illustration for the cover too? She really is an artist though. Yeah, it just hit me with the the debut teaser. Like she did like the art of all the Hollow Justice members. Like the sketch. Hey, 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 hey. Yo. Yeah, the animation's just so clean too. Yeah, and the drum scenes just go hard. <laughs> Damn, getting the goosebumps right here. Sheesh. Yeah, I, I love Raora right here. I, I love her. I love her, man. Yeah, get ready for that final chorus. Yeah, I totally don't know this song because of Osu. I'm kidding. <laughs> See, listen to the power of her vocals though, and then you can see the emotion on her face on the music video. It just hits. Oh my gosh. Where do I even begin with this cover right here from Aura Panthera on the song Hibana? She absolutely killed it though. Not only did she did the vocals, but she also did the illustration for the cover. Like, that just goes to show how amazingly talented Aura is. You know, she's such a talented artist. You know, she's the artist with the God's eyes. And we seen that on a DB teaser when she did like a sketch of everybody from Hollow Justice. I can't believe I missed that for a moment when I originally reacted to it, but I had to look back again like, oh snap, she drew that. But yeah, you can see right here, vocals and illustration by Aurora Panthera. And you know what's even crazier? This cover right here is trending on YouTube as well. Like it premiered like 14 hours ago at the time it's recording and it's trending on YouTube. So we, we love to see Aurora winning right here. She's winning. And now, of course, the rest of the Hollow Justice members as well. Yeah, everybody did solid on their performances. Like, no doubt. Like, no doubt. Yeah, Aurora popped off. Like, no question. Yeah, she could see everything with her God's eyes, including your history browser. <laughs> now I'm even more scared. I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah, see, everyone's just amazed by the beautiful illustration from Aurora. She's just so gorgeous, though. Don't let this cover distract you from the fact that she likes to put fries on her pizza. Okay, that's probably like a debut thing that I don't know about. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely a debut thing. Yeah, I definitely have to check out the debuts um, on another video if there's highlights or whatnot. Okay, this cover right here, I kind of see it right here about Rora sounding alike like Tawa. I can see that though. I, I can really see that. Like the way how Rora has like the lower vocals and then Tawa, she mainly sings with lower vocals as well. I really want them to do a cover together. I, I want them to do that. It, it, I will definitely ascend to heaven if that happens, you know? <laughs> Don't let this card distract you for that. She lost one life on her debut. Yeah. Totally a cat thing, right? <laughs> all right. Yeah, the Hall of Life English fans definitely ate with all these four covers right here. Like, no question. Yeah, Hibana by Deco27. Yeah, she has huge guts. Choosing the cover of this song, she definitely delivered. And yeah, hope you folks enjoyed this cover and as well as the rest of the covers as much as I did. And now, my friends, were the Hololife English Justice debut covers. Oh my gosh, yeah, everybody did solid on their performances right here. We got to check out the debut covers from Elizabeth, Gigi, Cecilia, and Raora. All of them dropped their respective covers after their respective debuts. And then of course they had the group original song, which I checked out in the previous video. All of them look very promising. I feel like Hollow Life English Justice, they're gonna go really far though, like no question. Starting off with Elizabeth Rose Bluffley's cover of Otona Blue. I like the art style on that one. The way how she was shifting her vocal range is just insane. Yeah, she has like quite the vocal control. It's quite a bop of a song too. You can really feel the funky vibes here. Yeah, I had fun vibing to that one. 
And then with Gigi Marin's cover on Hitomania. Yeah, the envy was kind of crazy though, if I do say so myself. I really like the whole stop motion aspect of the music video. I, I would say that's pretty creative because I hardly see anything like that at all with music videos. I've seen it with uh, some YouTube channel that does uh, Hollow Life animations. I forgot the name of the channel right off the top of my head, but if you know, let me know in the comments. Yeah, she definitely brought out that gravelet energy into the music video, especially with her singing too. And then with Cecilia Evergreen's cover on Forgotten Words. Oh my gosh, that one's such a masterpiece. Like everything, the music video, the illustrations. It was like so detailed though. It really felt like it told a story. And then of course with Cecilia's voice, it just sounded so elegant. You can really feel the different instrumentation, especially the violin. There's like more emphasis on the violin since she's a violinist. So that was like definitely a favorite for me. And then lastly with Aurora Panthera's cover of Hibana, definitely the best way to close off this reaction right here. Like she definitely went all out on the song. And not only that, she did the illustration for the cover too. So it's absolutely insane. But yeah, overall, all four of the members of Hall of Justice, they're so talented though. Like I'm glad that we got this bunch right here. Yeah, it took almost 11 months since Hollow Advent debuted to finally get the fourth generation right here. I'm so happy that they debuted. And yeah, I look forward to more from them in the future, so stay tuned. Feel free to share your thoughts below in the comments what you thought of these covers right here from Hollow Life English Justice. If you've gotten this far into the video, thank you folks so much for watching. It was a lot of fun to check out everybody's debut covers. Yeah, all of them drop covers after they debut, so hopefully in a future video, I can react to their debut highlights because I'm seeing some comments making references to their debuts and I haven't checked out the debuts yet, so I bet it's gonna be a lot of fun to check them out, so yeah. Let me know if you want to see that. If you enjoyed this reaction right here, feel free to leave it a like, subscribe for more if you have not already, and turn on notification bell so you can stay notified of my future content. And with that said, this is more truth, you take care, you have a great rest of your day or evening, and let the morals be with you.